Kidney stones are some of the most painful experiences a patient can have. But there are simple interventions that we can take to prevent the formation of kidney stones in the first place and to prevent their recurrence. In this video, we take a closer look at those procedures that can be taken by you at home. Kidney stones are on the rise worldwide, currently affecting up to 13% of the world's population. The kidney stone attacks can cause patients to vomit and to assume the fetal position on the floor, writhing in anguish. Or it may drive them to rush to the emergency room, demanding immediate relief for their agony. To make matters worse, a full 50% of people who have their first kidney stone can expect to have a second kidney stone within the next five years. That is, if they do not take preventative measures to prevent the recurrence of kidney stones. Now, these measures may involve medications or lifestyle changes, but the backbone of prevention is dietary modification. By eating and drinking the right things, we can prevent up to 45% of kidney stones from forming. 75% of kidney stones are calcium stones, being calcium oxalate or calcium phosphate. Of the rest, 10% are uric acid stones. These stones form because of an increased concentration of minerals and substances in the urine that can lead to stone formation. Increased concentrations of calcium and urate and oxalate can lead to the aggregation of these minerals and substances and the formation of crystals that can then grow into stones. The stones can cause bloody urine and fearful outcries as they traverse the urinary tract. Apart from these stone-forming substances, it is now well accepted that there are substances that prevent the formation of stones, such as citrate and potassium and magnesium. The prevention of stones, therefore, is simply the need to increase the concentration of those substances that prevent stones and decrease the concentration of substances that cause stones to form. One way to achieve this is by dietary modification. By far the most important intervention is to increase the intake of fluids and liquids to such a degree that we start to produce 2 to 2.5 liters of urine on a daily basis. It is also well accepted now that a diet high in fruits and vegetables and low in sodium and animal protein, along with adequate quantities of calcium, can significantly decrease the occurrence of kidney stones. A suitable source of calcium may be low fat dairy products. Such a diet would contain no more than 2 grams of sodium and 0.8 grams per kilogram of animal protein and 1,200 milligrams of calcium. More recently, it has been recognized that being overweight and having the metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance is associated with kidney stone formation. And it, since vitamin C is known to increase the excretion of oxalate in the urine, it is recommended that we should not consume more than 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C on a daily basis. It is now recognized that the consumption of sugar-sweetened soft drinks is also associated with the formation of kidney stones, or if we consume too many high oxalate containing foods, such as green leafy vegetables and chocolates and nuts and lentils. On the other hand, orange juice and coffee and tea and beer have been associated with a low incidence of kidney stones. 
Dietary intervention may not be the only intervention you need to take to prevent kidney stones from recurring, but it may well be the most important. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button because it helps the algorithm to spread this video and helps the channel to grow. You can support the channel by subscribing. Until the next video, stay healthy and stay safe.